I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some excellent questions on rational expressions. Here is a thinking and communication question. How many points on the graph of y equals to x plus 9 divided by x plus 3 will have integer points x, y? Think about it. Pause the video and solve the question. When we say x and y both are integers, we basically mean the we should select the integer values of x so that y is also an integer. That is what the question is. Now let us see how to solve it. We have rational expression which is y equals to x plus 9 divided by x plus 3. Now you could simplify this and write it as 9 could be written as 3 plus 6, right? Okay, that makes huge difference. See how. We could write this as x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 plus 6 divided by x plus 3. So that gives us 1 plus 6 divided by x plus 3. Now I think it's easier to answer the question. Now let's look into this problem once again. y is equal to 1 which is an integer plus another part 6 divided by x plus 3 that could be fraction now to make it integer x plus 3 should be a factor of 6 right so what are the possible values so what we have is x plus 3 could be equal to 1 it could be equals to minus 1 that means plus minus 1 it could be plus 2 or minus 2 it could be plus 3 or minus 3 it could be plus 6 or minus 6 right x plus 3 is equal to this right so that will give you possible values of x right so let me write down the possible values of x if x plus 3 is 1 then the possible values for x will be 1 take away 3 from these values so if you take away 3 from these values 1 minus 3 is minus 2 for this it is minus 4 so we are doing minus 3 right to get the value of x correct so minus 3 will give me minus 1 minus 3 will give me minus 5 minus 3 gives me 0 here minus 6 there minus 3 will give me the value 3 okay and in this case minus 9 so these are the possible x values for which y values will be integers well Let's find them out also, right? Well, the question is not to find the coordinate points, just the number of points, which we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So, how many points are there? The answer is 8. Now, which one are these? This is what we're trying to calculate now. Well, sometimes that could be asked for, okay? So, if x is minus 2, you just plug it in here and find the value of y. That is one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is you can use this equation, right? Now here we know x plus 3 is 1. So 6 divided by 1 is 6. So 1 plus 6 is 7. So you will get 7, correct? Minus 1 is this value. So 1 minus 6 is minus 5. So in this case, minus 5. Now if it is 2, then 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 1 plus 3 is 4. That is to say, if you place minus 1 here, minus 1, minus 1, then this is 8 divided by 4, 8 divided by 2, which will give you 4, correct? So either way, you can calculate. Now, if x plus 3 is minus 2, if this is minus 2, 6 divided by minus 2 is minus 3, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So you get this as minus 2. If it is 3, that means I'm saying denominator is 3. Then this is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3. If denominator is minus 3, then it is 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. If the denominator is 6 or minus 6, if it is 6, then it gives me a value of 1, 1 plus 1, which is 2. And if it is minus 6, 1 minus 1 gives me 0, correct? So these are the possible points. So the points will be, let me write them in a different ink. So you'll get these coordinate points, minus 2, 7, and then we have minus 4, minus 5, we have minus 1, 4, 
minus 5 minus 2 0 and 3 minus 6 minus 1 3 comma 2 or minus 9 0 correct let's check minus 9 plus 9 is 0 so that will give you 0 correct so like this we can get well I might have done some calculation mistakes check it out for yourself but the important thing is strategy now in this kind of a question you can always write it like this see the trick involved x plus 3 x plus 3 plus what is 9 so we could write this equation in a simpler way and then find possible values of x to solve the question. I hope you appreciate it. You can subscribe to my videos and learn more about great questions. Thank you and all the best.